Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome to the temporary end of our Bullmark Club train for this purpose because now I am moving on to one of the side of figures. I'm Yana9 and I'm here to review the B Club middle size Cosmo Liquid from all the way back in God knows when. Here is the header tag that I just rolled up once again. The bag itself is in a slightly different composed. It's made of a slightly different material than the one that the uh, Arthron had, and of course, it's you know just as willing to stand up as that one. Again, it says Budumaku no Miduru Kaiju Collection. Shows Miklas and Ella King in the front, and for this version, it actually says Poppy up here. Poppy, and there is no sticker to symbol to signify which monster this is. That is now that now that is very interesting. But in any case, let's get on with the detail. If you like the detail on the large size Bullmark Cosmo Liquid, you will like the detail on this thing because it is literally a shrunken down version of the same toy. For um, to prove my point, and bringing in the large scaled Cosmo Liquid head as a comparison. Now the eyes might be a little bit more um, screwy on this on the on this release, but I assure you, it's pretty much the same thing. Everything on the figure is pretty much a scaled down version of the original Bullmark release outside of the articulation and I think that does this thing really f and I think that does a lot of good for this release. Now there's a reason why this figure did the, well, this figure's tag did not come with a sticker signifying that this is actually a Cosmo Liquid figure and that is because it is part of the Bullmark in 21st century uh, bag set I guess because it didn't really come in a box. It came packed together with a alternatively colored Astromons and an alternatively colored Light King. Unfortunately, I do not have those two with me, so I cannot review those two. But that at least gives you the backstory of how this thing comes to be. And of course, because it said Poppy on the back on the bottom of the foot, instead of saying Bandai, as usual, it actually says Poppy. On the other foot, it's the Bullmark logo, and yeah. Subaru production, and on the foot it says Cosmo Liquid. The paint job is very, it's I guess very unique, but I'm not a big fan of it mainly because it's, I feel like it should have been done in the same color that the regular release came with, which is a light blue with a sky blue spray and some silver sprays here and there with a green spray on the belly because it looks a lot more accurate than this variant, which is you know molded in red with with metallic blue sprays and a yellow spray on the belly. Now, however, it does kind of look like the Bananga in the background, doesn't it? But in any case, that's the that's the sculpt work. The sculpt work is, is identical to what was featured on the larger toy, and the paint job is not something I'm a fan of. So let's move on to the articulation. Articulation on the middle size Cosmo Liquid, it's incredibly disappointing because we had the amazing articulation that was featured on this Arthron and that wasn't carried over to this release. The head does not rotate at all, which is disappointing to say the very least because the, the, even the large size had it. Furthermore, only the arms rotate, 300, rotate a little bit and they don't even rotate 360 degrees because of Cosmo Liquid's signature cape on the back. Finally, the only point of articulation left, it's the waist. Damn, I thought I was buying an Ultra Monster, not an Ultra Hero release. This figure's, the figure's articulation, it's extremely lackluster when you consider that the larger size does everything a little bit better with the head articulation and the arms and the legs. And unfortunately, this little size variant just doesn't live up to that standard. In terms of size comparison, you're going to find that you'll be quite disappointed with this release as well because number one, it does not scale up well at all with the same middle sized Arthron. Because even though Arthron is a far more cartoony sculpt, sculpt it, both of these are pretty much cartoony in, in their own ways and I don't know why Cosmo Liquid is this short. Similarly, because of this, the Ultra Monster 500 figures do not scale up with it either, as you can see with Snow Gone. So equally, the Poppy figures don't work very well at all. Finally, for just some random size comparison, let's just throw in Jack because I don't feel like bringing out an Ultra Monster to for this, you know, sad fest. It barely comes up to about Jack's halfway point. 
what a disappointment. What a disappointment. For the first time ever, I'm giving a Bullmark figure a 3 out of 5. Unfortunately, old Cosmo Liquid here just isn't enough to compete with any of its brethren. It's too small, the articulation sucks, and the um, overall paint job is not very desirable. It's just kind of sad that like this figure had a lot of promise and had to rot away like this. For, for most casual fans, I'd say get the larger release, because it's fairly cheap, and just skip the smaller one. This, the larger one will do you a lot more good. It's a huge impulse. It's a big impulse. It's a big impressive figure, and it just does everything a lot better than a small release does. The like it's 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 just pretty much disappointing to the maximum level. I mean, I guess if you had the full set where you have uh, the Astromons and the Life King with it, I guess you can get a little bit more playability or something like that out of it. But the problem is, it doesn't scale with anything that I have in my collection. Like, I even tossed in the Arthron that was from the exact same tag series, and it didn't work either. So, you know, there's nothing more to this thing than a disappointment, and I'm kind of upset that I paid so much money for it. But in any case, it, I'm I'm not unhappy to own it in my collection, but I will say to the rest of you who are, you know, even slightly interested or on the wall about it, forget it. Unless you are certain that you are a huge fan of Cosmo Liquid and you absolutely want this piece of merchandise, Skip. Absolutely skip. And if you truly are wanting it, buy it for a reasonable price. The reasonable price I would suggest, it's about five it's about ten to five dollars. But in any case, that is the review. I'm Yao9. Thank you for watching. The final score again is a three out of five. I'll see you guys next time.